Welcome to Good Living by Design. I'm Lenore Gonzalez. Today I'm looking at some paint samples to pick for the front door. We always want to make a good first impression. So today's show will show you how to transform your entryway into a warm and inviting space that will truly impress your guest. Now for those of you who are busy at work and have no time to exercise, we have quick and easy exercises that you could do at work, whether you're at home, in the office, as long as where your desk is, you could do it. Then join me as we visit Steuben's, the second restaurant in our three restaurant series. All this today on Good Living by Design. work with my clients making color selections and it's one of the hardest things for them to do and sometimes because of all the choices they're paralyzed by fear. So I love to sit down with my clients and kind of have um, a process to work with them in selecting color. Whether we're doing fabrics for the interior of the home or exterior and interior paint, it's always important to have a direction of where you want to start with your color. Sometimes they don't have an idea of where to even begin and we would like to sit down and Kind of go through their home, look at your closet, look at what clothes you wear. Do you have a favorite piece of fabric? Do you have a favorite piece of artwork? Um, we've even had a client that had a favorite necklace and that was our jumping off point for color. So typically everyone's attracted to different things in color and it basically has to do with saturation. And that's how bright or light a color is. My favorite color could be green and so could another person's, but those two greens may be very different. We have from the most saturated here, which are very bright, and kids tend to love those colors and appreciate them, to the most desaturated colors here that are more neutrals and more calming in a home. Another helpful tip for my clients is when you're either at the paint store yourself or you're trying to decide, is a color gonna turn maybe pink or green on me? It's important to look at the value of the strips. If I was looking at these lighter colors at the top, and I want to know what color that might change with different lighting, I'm going to follow that value down and see that there's definitely some orange in it. So now we're going to head to a home where the exterior of the home is painted more in this desaturated area here. And it's more of an olive color, and the homeowner was looking to maybe have a pop of color on their front door, which is so much fun to do. Um, so we're going to look at a beautiful red on that front door, and Valspar is going to be helping us with that. Good morning, I'm Steve Sides with Valspar. What we're going to do today is show you the proper way to paint an exterior entry door. So what I'm going to spend some time doing is, is going over the actual process. That is crucial to a paint job. We should spend twice as much time on the prep as the actual painting itself. Some of the key points is areas right over in here where you want to have where you have the siding joining the door itself. You want to make sure that area is caulked thoroughly and the caulk is completely dry prior to applying the paint. What I'll walk you through now is the actual process of painting and taping your door hardware. You have two options. You can remove the hardware or you can also just tape around it with a, with a good quality painter's tape. Same would apply with, these, with the glass on the door. Tape off the areas where you do not want to have paint. One of the the most crucial steps to painting any project is using a primer over the surface. What a primer does is it, it gives the paint a good surface to adhere to. Every primer is a little bit different. Normally you're looking at about a four hour dry time. On this particular project, we have a brand new door that was recently installed, so there isn't a lot of, of prep work that we need to do. We have a couple of areas where we'll do some touch up. Uh, but for the most part, we'll go in, we'll clean off any manufacturing dust, and then we'll be ready to start this project. In this particular project, what we're going to actually do is remove the door from the hinges, put it on a pair of saw horses. That way you have excellent access to all parts of the door. What I want to talk to you about now before we, we actually start painting our door is the brushes and rollers that you're going to use to paint your door or the exterior of your house. I would strongly recommend you buy the absolute best brush and roller that your budget can allow. It, it has a tremendous amount of impact 
on the finished product. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our project. What I'll do first is all the cut-in work. I'm gonna cut in around the door handles and then around the, uh, the trim of the, of the glass. And you don't wanna overwork the paint. Allow the paint to just flow and level or just basically just level out so you don't have a lot of brush strokes. Okay, we've, uh, our first coat of paint has dried. It's been about four hours. We're getting ready to put our second coat of paint on. Uh, when that's finished, you're gonna have a beautiful entryway door a uh, nice color. It's going to be beautiful when it's all completed. We've put our second coat on the entryway here. As you can see, it looks fantastic. Uh, one thing that I wanted to mention, the product that we're using, the Valspar Duramax, has a temperature range of down to 35 degrees and up to 90 degrees. So tonight we're only dropping down to 41 degrees, so it's a perfect time to finish up your fall projects. So come on in to your local Lowe's Home Improvement Store where you can pick up one of the Valspar paints and allow us to help you create your own first impression project. So when we come back, we'll decorate the front door to welcome your guest home for the holidays. Cornu is a full-service interior design company. We're located in Highlands Ranch, and we've been here in Colorado for 10 years. Usually the kind of clients that contact us are pretty busy. They don't have a lot of time to do this on their own, um, and they just want to have someone come into their home and make it feel the way they envision it. We pride ourselves on working with all kinds of budgets and being able to make someone comfortable when we come in their home, and it's a great experience. It should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful or overwhelming. With the core and use design expertise, knowledge, and attention to detail, people can save money because they avoid costly mistakes and they also avoid wasting time. Our process usually starts with a 20-minute phone call and that's our discovery phase where we learn more about your project, what you want to do in the space, and what your expectations are. We'll then make an in-home consultation where we actually then go and see your space and sit down um, for about an hour and uh, measure the space, take photographs of the space. Then we go back to our office and in two weeks we come back with a design presentation. This is when we show you three design options. All our design options are interchangeable. You can mix and match and they were created based on conversations we had with you. Once you've selected the design option that you'd like to do in your home, we go back to our office and start the ordering process. We're there to manage your project from start to finish. We do everything in your home, from a simple paint consultation, to accessorizing a room, to decorating one room or your whole home. We do it all. Call Decor and You now and get $250 off your interior design project, 303-346-2593. And be sure to watch Good Living by Design right here on KCDO this fall. It's a Denver area TV show with the decor and you staff. Go to goodlivingbydesign.com for more information and past shows. Find videos, information, and expert interior design advice at goodlivingbydesign.com. Welcome to Lowe's Creative Ideas. My name is Tiffany. My name is Bart. And what we have here is a quick, easy project that you can help organize your room or a kid's room. What it is is it's four cork boards that we have put command strips on the back and you can just apply it to your wall really quick and easy. And then you can pick out some ribbon that you can decorate depending on if it's a boy's room or a girl's room. Obviously you can do different colors. But you can also go and buy little sample paint cans that you can paint the tiles with to the certain type of room that you're decorating and you can put postcards on there, pictures, any type of thing just to kind of spice up your room. The ideas for this project you can find on Lowe'sCreativeIdeas.com. You can sign up for My Lowe's and it will get you signed up and registered for a free copy of the Creative Ideas magazine. starting to think about the holidays. So our friends today at Tagawa Gardens are going to show us some great first impressions for our front entryway. Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens in Centennial, Colorado. It is a gorgeous day here along the Front Range. We are at a lovely home just south of Denver and we're here to see what we might like to do with a little bit of seasonal decoration. We could do a little bit, 
We could do a whole lot, and I'm voting for a whole lot. Okay, so we have the first part of our fall decoration all done up, and you can't go wrong with the colors of the fall, the oranges, the greens, the golds. I love it. We're going to move on now and do a pot. If your pots hold annuals all summer long, then when the first freeze comes, they croak, right? The annuals die. So we don't want to look at an empty pot all winter long, all fall and winter long. So that's why it's such a great idea to adapt what were our summer pots to later in the year. So I've picked a beautiful grass here. This is a little sedge and I love the colors. I love the textures. You can see I can't quite keep my hands off of it. But that's the whole point. Give different texture. Give something in the pot that people might want to touch. And these will hold up surprisingly well into the colder weather with this nice auburn color. So let me get to work and we'll put a few more things in here and then we'll see what the finished product looks like. That is how easy it is to give your front yard, your backyard, anywhere you want around your home, more curb appeal. If you're going to sell your house in the fall or even in the winter, this is what you want to do. Something that makes it stand out from the other houses in the neighborhood. So I'll touch this up and in the meantime, I'm already thinking about some pots that will reflect the winter. Mm. For now, we have used some artificial greens, but Tagawa sells so many fresh cut greens that would be a shame to go through your winter season and not try making one of these porch pots, as they're called, with fresh greenery. A lot of these, even if they're fresh, will last well into the new year. You can even change out the decorations to blues and silvers to reflect a new season. So do not be afraid. Be bold when it comes to decorating the outside of your house. Think well outside the box and you can have so much fun in the process and get the admiring glances and comments from your neighbors too. Coming up next, you have no excuse not to get exercise in while working. Hi, I'm Kim Sherman from Excel Energy and this is your Good Living by Design energy saving tip. As the cold weather sets in and you're looking for ways to reduce your heating bill, Consider weather stripping. Weather stripping is a very cost-effective way to keep the heat in and the cold out. Visit your local hardware store. It's an easy and inexpensive way to keep your heating bills down over the winter. Find videos, information, and expert interior design advice at goodlivingbydesign.com. Dig in, gardening, cooking, and more. Get the latest advice, tips, and recipes at digincolorado.com. Dig in, presented by the Scott's Miracle Grow Company. Interact with Good Living by Design on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Find the links at goodlivingbydesign.com. Today we're going to talk about getting exercise in while you're at the office, whether it's your office at home or an office outside of the home. There's a lot of great ways to get exercise in. Kathy Coots, who's our fitness specialist, is going to help us and show us what we can do while we're sitting at our desk. So Kathy, what can we do so we can get some exercise in while we're at the office? The easiest thing to do first is to get rid of that office chair and use an exercise ball. And you are actively engaging your core muscles throughout the entire day when you're seated on a ball more so than when you're seated on an office chair. So the best thing to do first and foremost is to get rid of that office chair and grab one of these exercise balls. And they are relatively inexpensive and, uh, and it's a great thing to have at the office. And it just, it really helps to hone in on your core strength. So you're building strength in your muscles and you have to stay, your core has to stay active. Otherwise you would have balance problems um, when you're seated on the ball. So it's a real good way to work your core without even really realizing that you're doing that. Um, that's exercise number one 
that's point number one. Now, there are other things that you can do throughout mm -hmm. the day. It's really important to remember, lots of times we get in front of that computer and we just sit there for hours. So it's important that we remember to take time to take breaks. So I always okay. tell my clients to set the reminder on your outlook, set the reminder on your email to get up and move every hour, whether it's just to stand up and walk around your desk or um, it's to get up and, and walk the stairs a couple of times, just to get blood pumping and get your muscles moving so that you're staying trying to stay active throughout the day. If people are getting up, you don't get so tired sitting at your desk. It gets, right. like you said, the blood flowing and then you're probably more engaged in your task because you're getting some activity in Right, there. you get a brain break. You're able to stand up and move so your body is so grateful for that. And then you're more refreshed, more rejuvenated and you're ready to sit back down on that exercise ball and get back to that task at hand. But all you need is you know 90 seconds, two minutes, uh, five minutes if you have, that's great. But if you don't, stand up for two minutes and move around and, okay. um, and then get back to what you're doing. And then there are other things that you can do aside from the exercise ball. Lots of people store their soup for the day in their office. So <laughs> when you're talking on the phone, when you're on that conference call and you've got that headset so um, you can talk to people, you can actively participate in your conversation while you're actively working your muscles at the same time. And there are other um, pieces of exercise equipment that you can have. I mean, I've stored it in my file cabinet, um, just some resistance bands that I can use and I can use these for strengthening I can use them for stretching but either way I'm getting benefits um, while I'm sitting at my desk and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting my work done I'm I'm actively engaging my body at the same time so we can use resistance bands and for you can buy those at any store like any, any sporting goods store yep um, even uh, local department stores will have these. And there's tons of things that you can do. Set the band underneath your feet. You can do bicep curls. You can do rows, back rows. Um, you can do leg extensions. And, and imagine the amount of effort it's taking my core to stay engaged while I'm doing this. I'm creating more of a balance activity. Mm -hmm. So I'm really having to rely on that supporting leg that's on the floor, but I'm getting strength in that um, leg that I'm moving at the same time. I can do stretching with the, uh, I can do, um, oops, I can do arm extensions, tricep extensions. I could do tricep pull downs. I can do um, exercises for my chest. Just having one in your office file cabinet is such a such a neat piece of equipment, such a, a good tool to have. Um, so you can do just about anything with it during the day. While I you're think that's seated. a great tool to have. And you know, where people way back used to take cigarette breaks, I mean, why not take a little exercise, an mental break. break? Yes. Right. A brain, break, a brain break, an activity <laughs> break. Exactly. So that your body loves you for it and your mind does as well because you get that opportunity to just get away from that space, that small space, and, uh, and breathe some fresh air. And during your lunch break, I mean, take a lunch break. Lots of times people will say, I'm just going to work through my lunch break because I have so much stuff I have to do. Take 20 minutes mm -hmm. to walk around the neighborhood where your office is located and breathe in some fresh air and, and uh, you know, just get away from, from the desk for a little bit so Come back that more you're refreshed. more refreshed mm -hmm. and you're ready to, to you know, charge with a little bit more intensity because you've given yourself an opportunity to relax that mind for a bit. Well, I hope that gives you some great ideas to do in the office and that you can exercise wherever you are, whether it's at home or out at the office. Coming up next, a gourmet comfort food lunch at one of Denver's hottest restaurants. Hi, I'm Roger Francis with Allstate Insurance, and I'm here with your Good Living by Design home safety tip. As we move from fall towards winter, we're gonna start doing things to make sure that we've winterized our houses. We're gonna move things out of the backyard. We're gonna make sure our hoses are unhooked so that the pipes don't freeze. And what I would like you to do also is to look up and look down. I want you to look up to make sure that you don't have any tree branches hanging over your house. We wanna make sure that your gutters are clean so that we don't have water or ice backing up that might flow back into the, into the window wells and into your house. What I mean by looking down is I want you to look down at the foundation of your home. Make sure that you don't have a lot of debris around that foundation. Make sure that the area around your window wells are clear. Make sure that the slope away from your house is appropriate so that it'll move water away from the house. 
If we have water that does back up, end up in your window wells and goes into your basement, that's not something that's going to be covered by your homeowner's insurance. It's not something that's going to be covered by your flood insurance policy. So we want to be sure that you've done all that you can to make sure that that water moves away from your house and not into your house. That way we can ensure that you have a good, happy winter. This is Roger Francis with Allstate Insurance with your Good Living by Design safety tip. Hi, I'm Lenore. And I'm Jen. And we're here from Decor and Ewing Highlands Ranch, a full service interior decorating company. And we have something great to share with you today. It's Decor Room in a Box. If you love to shop, the Decor Room in a Box is perfect for you. It allows you to control your own makeover in your own time and still get the advice of a professional designer. It's a fun and easy process and when you get to our website, you click on Virtual Interior Designer and you'll fill out a style questionnaire where you ask questions about your style, taste, provide dimensions, photographs for us and in four to six weeks you get a beautiful box back filled with everything you need to execute that design plan. Inside the box, you'll see a custom design that's made especially for you. It comes with a customized design plan that shows you all the furniture items that we specify. It also has the space plan that's drawn to scale. And we'd also have all the items and we'll tell you where everything goes. My favorite part is when the box comes, you get all the goodies inside. We send you everything necessary for your custom look, which includes all of the fabric samples necessary to complete the design and exactly where they go and how much to use. We have our upholstery samples here as well as we always include a paint palette and the color selections for that. And here at Decor New, we like to include wallpaper in our designs and you get the sample as well for that. Also in the box, you'll find the furniture finishes as well as the stain for your furniture. If we specify hardware, you also get the finish of the hardware that you need to use. This is my favorite part. This is our flip book. And this is everything you need from photos of all the items that we specified in your design. And in the back, you'll see the measurements and the colors so that when you go shopping, you have everything that you need to put your room together. That's Decor Room in a Box. We made it easy and fun for you. Go to decorandyouhr.com and click on Virtual Interior Design and order your box today. So I'm here with Josh Diner of Dining Out Magazine. And I'd like to talk about our partnership so Josh, tell us a little bit about your magazine. Sure, we've been publishing uh, Dining Out for 15 years in Denver. Um, and our whole goal is to, is to really shine a spotlight on what's new and exciting, as well as you know, familiar and comfortable in, in the Denver dining scene, to really kind of take readers behind the scene, whether you're someone who lives here um, and, and knows the dining scene well and just kind of wants to be reminded of something that they really liked or looking for something new. Right. Well, I can't wait to visit all these featured restaurants on your magazine. So, Josh, tell me about like where we can pick the magazines up. Uh, sure. So, the, the next issue will be out um, in December of this year. We have complimentary copies pretty much anywhere in wine shops, gift shops, the restaurants that are featured in the magazine. Um, and they're also for sale at newsstands um, and grocery stores. We're right up at the register at Whole Foods. Um, it's pretty much anywhere you, you know, you'd find uh, a, a city guide type of magazine. Well, thanks, Josh. We're looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Lenore, and now we're here at another fabulous restaurant that Josh Walken owns and operates. So we're at Steuben's. So Steuben's, is, a, is that a family name? Uh, Steuben's is the name of a restaurant my great uncles owned in Boston in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Oh, wow. So we named it after that. Uh, you know, this was another old, old garage, Dan's Garage, uh, another old building that, that had some built-in character mm -hmm. in a great location. Um, you know, from a design, yeah, there's that nostalgia yeah. and, and you just want people to, along with the food, to sort of uh, conjure up those memories of, of childhood or eating at home or eating at their favorite, you know, hamburger stand or whatever it right. might have been. Coming in here really brings back memories of that old American classic um, cafe. Right. So I think that's how it's best described and I think your food also talks to it about when you serve regional American classic food as well. Exactly. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about like um, what we have here? Sure, sure. These uh, all, you know, pretty much items, again, regional American that people can identify with. Uh, a cheese steak. Mm. Uh, we don't call it a Philly because I don't want to fight with those people from right. Philly. 
uh, our fried chicken mm -hmm. with biscuit and mashed potatoes and gravy, the grilled cheese and tomato soup, a winter right, party favorite. classic, yep, uh, our deviled eggs. Uh, the chicken chopped salad is, is new and on the, on the lighter side of the Steuben's menu and the healthier side of the Steuben's menu. A um, couple of desserts, the lemon curd and the uh, wacky apple. I mean, it's just such a great um, variety of options that you have here. So let's go back to the design. I love like how you walk in here, you see the wood panels and you have, you're combining the old and new because I know you have a lot of new features here too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely meant from a design standpoint to feel like it's been here forever. It has those 60s and 70s design touches, a lot of vintage lighting, and just to bring out those feelings of nostalgia and remind you of, of home or your home basement. Um, but with that, you know, in, in being current, we, we have an effort towards sustainability and the whole roof is covered in solar panels as is the uh, awning out on the patio. Well, it's just great that you have the two restaurants next to each other. You have Ace on another block and then Steuben's here. Yeah, it's, it's a great synergy between the two restaurants. People can dine here and go play ping pong there, or they dine there and then come over here for, for drinks. We have some signatures, mm -hmm. the zombie, the Moscow mule, our classic Manhattan. Milkshake over there. Oh yeah, the boozy, boozy milkshake. That's a grasshopper oh. milkshake. And then we do our own cherries. We, we can our own cherries. When the cherries are in season, we pit thousands and thousands of cherries and, and can them and soak them in bourbon and sugar and, uh, and almond syrup. And they get used in all of our classic cocktails here at Steuben's and even over at Ace and Vesta does the same thing as well. Wow, that's amazing. I know you also have a food truck, so why don't we go, go look at that? All right, let's do it. Here we are in front of your food truck. How neat is that to have the Steuben's restaurant to go? The, the, the food truck is fun. Yeah, it is fun. fun. So can we get the same menu that you serve in the restaurant? You know, on a regular basis at a lot of events, we serve a, a limited menu. From the, from the restaurant, but if you do a special event, a rehearsal dinner, a wedding, an office party, um, they kind of pick and choose what they want from the Steuben's menu. So we can do a fried chicken dinner, or anything off the menu. Oh, okay, so they could customize it yes. to whatever event. And it's so great that it's available for, like you said, weddings, corporate events, birthdays. So whatever it is, you could just get Steuben's to go. We do a lot of great events all summer. We get to go to all kinds of fun and cool places. We were at Red Rocks, with Film on the Rocks. We were at the Governor's House. Uh, the Justice League of Street Food is an awesome event with 12 to 15 food trucks, pop-up parties, weddings, rehearsal dinners, all kinds of fun stuff. Well, that's so cool. And I also know that you carry your sustainable principles here in those food truck as well. Sure, so anywhere we can, we, 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 we try to do something. So there's solar panels on the roof of the food truck that help power the lights and the stereo system and most of the electronics on board. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Josh, for sure. having us. That's, fries. Yeah, let's try some fries. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show and had great takeaways on creating that impressive entryway. Thank you to our friends at Valspar and Tagawa Gardens, to Kathy Coots and Josh Walken of Steubens. I'm Lenore Gonzalez. Thank you for watching. Good living by design. So we're here with Josh. <laughs> we always want to make a good impression. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I can't wait to visit all this featured magazine. Oh, featured. Join us as we visit students and their food truck and try some of their gourmet. <laughs> you kind of have to have a jumping off point as... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sarah, I'm like... <laughs> I know what I'm thinking, but like saying it's a whole different like ball game.